Our program uses a two-step transesterification process in order to make as much biodiesel as possible. We run the first reaction with 80% of our alcohol catalyst mixture and the second with the remaining 20%. We begin by drying the oil and then preheating it in the mixing tank. We then pump our 381 kilograms of oil into the reactor, which is also being heated and mixed. We add 80% of the methanol, about 72.4 kilograms, to an auxiliary tank, as well as 80% of the catalyst, about 7.68 kilograms. These are mixed together, then pumped into the reactor with the oil. Once the three ingredients are inside, the reaction begins. The reactor maintains a temperature of about 60 degrees Celsius while the circulation pump stays on. The reaction will take about an hour. After the hour, we pump the contents of the reactor into another holding tank. The tank is filled with a mixture of biodiesel fuel, glycerin, which is a byproduct of the biodiesel reaction, and excess methanol and catalyst. We run this through our demethylator, which helps recover some of the excess methanol left in the fuel. We then run this through a centrifuge, which separates the biodiesel and glycerin. The glycerin goes to a holding tank where it can be disposed of later, and the biodiesel goes into a different holding tank. Now we're ready for the second 20% reaction. The biodiesel is pumped back into the reactor, and the remaining 20% methanol and catalyst, which works out to 10.1 kg of methanol and 1.92 kg of catalyst, are mixed together in the tank before being pumped into the reactor. Once again, the reaction is run for an hour, and then put through the demethylator and centrifuge. The substance you're left with is biodiesel fuel, but it still has impurities. The next step is to wash the biodiesel to ensure you're making a quality fuel.